Okay, um, let's carry on. Material variances. Um, it's interesting because I'll I'll do this first and I'll see how many questions this covers in terms of looking like. So once you do once I do one, then you can sort of see what's going on. And I'm gonna do it from a teaching point of view. Again, just to give you framework. But again, talking to you guys, we've always talked about how you have to find to a certain extent your own method and I'll do a range of methods and see how you can mix the methods up or the use of formulas. But I think understanding is important. The point here is that we want to understand we'll have it we have a total cost variance, but we want to be able to break that total cost variance into a first of all we're talking about inputs i think it's so important to always highlight this we're talking about the inputs that go in to producing the final output so we made 200 units that is the output this is irrelevant when we're talking about production right totally relevant this is what's relevant how many units we actually made so we have um um we have price variances if you like, and we also have a usage variance. You can see it says it there, material price variance, material usage. That's what we're interested in. And really, um, so let's start, let's sort of look at that. So I'll just do this here and I'll put price here and I'll put usage over here. And so the point here is this, that I expect, it, it tells us that you expect to use six kilograms per unit. So if you're making two, if you make 200 units, I'm going to put 200 units here as a reference point. If you make 200 units, you're expecting to use six kilograms. So you're expecting to use 1,200 kilograms. This is all about inputs. And you're expecting to, to buy each kilogram, because remember, this is a cost sort of variance, um, for £5.50. This is the plan, right? That's the plan. This kind of thing is what you're hoping for. That's the plan. Let me change my pen color. But what happens in the end? What happens in the end? The question says that you use in the end a thousand kilograms. So I use a thousand kilograms. So straight away I can see, oh my God, this is favorable. I use 200 kilograms less than I should have. Times, of course, we talk about it based on the standard cost because the guys who use these kilograms have no control over the buying in of the product. We want to keep it separate. We want to know what the overall cost variance was based on. And so it is the 200 times the five pound 50, and it is favorable, right? And that looks like 110 pounds. Sorry, 1,100, that's what that looks like. Yeah, so that is a favorable variance there, this thing right here. Now, in terms of materials, the question says that you're supposed to spend five pound 50, but you ended up spending five pound per kilogram. So, I mean, this is slightly quite a unique you know, situation where you have paid less per kilogram and you've used less. So, either the standards were wrong in the first place or weren't a fit, weren't, weren't fit for purpose, or you've got some discounts, or you've had some maybe manager come on board who's totally made it more efficient. So, you can see we have a difference there of 50p, 50p on what you actually bought because that was the whole idea. You went out there. And you actually said, you know what, I'm all... so this is what really happened. But that thing in red over there was what was supposed to happen. So in terms of a volume variance, the volume variance you can see over there was that bit over here. And then the pricing variance is literally just really focused on the, the change in price, right? Typically, it's, it'll be worse. Well, when I say worse, I mean, when I say worse... I mean, here it's favorable. It's a favorable variance, but typically if you're, well, it, it doesn't really matter. It, it's just following the question and, and looking for good reasons. Here we have, a, I think we have a slightly unusual situation where um, you, you're spending less and you're more efficient. So it means that there might be some initial measurement um, issues. So 50p times 1,000 kilograms, which is equal to 500 pounds. So you have another 50p times 1,000 kilograms, which is equal to 500. So you have 500 pound favorable, 1,100 favorable. So you have a total of um, 1,600 favorable, right? And that's kind of the, um, the situation. The actual cost of the material um, here, what the actual cost for, for actual production, it tells you here that you actually went out there and you bought um, 1,000 kilograms paying five pounds. So you spent 5,000 pounds um, on your 
kilograms and your variance of course here is 1600 favorable um, and that's what we're really we doing here so we the, i suppose that the, the, the real plan was to have spent as you can see over here six pounds um sorry six kilograms per unit um so therefore i would have used six kilograms um on 200 which would have been 1000 i'm sorry uh, no ignore all this it doesn't matter that's so you were around that's you answered the question so and i think just you're literally this is the actual cost of the material for actual production which is what actually happened a thousand kilograms and you have it five pound per kilogram and just do that and then you should be able to to apply that principle of course let's see to which ones um so that's that that's asking the same thing again okay yeah and just two so basically 40 two and 43 and then i'll um do the i'll work through um the the next ones okay